assalamu alaikum guys today's lecture is on the uh, spectrum of the frequency modulated signal in the last class we actually presented you about the frequency modulated signal right <coughs> and in this lecture we'll see the spectrum of this uh, modulated signal so the we know the modulated signal for frequency modulated fm signal how it looks like right so we actually uh, showed you in earlier equation uh, let me find in our previous example the frequency modulated signal for example st okay so how st was expressed so we can see actually this is the narrow band frequency modulated signal okay from the narrow band actually we can have a wide band signal so this is actually a very generalized expression for frequency modulated signal. So let us start from here, the, um, the frequency modulated signal. Okay, so FM signal, signal can be expressed as ST, AC, cos, Two pi FCT plus beta sine two pi FMT. Now here beta is the modulation index. So beta is our modulation index. Modulation index. So uh this one we actually we actually uh, rewrite we will rewrite this equation in terms of its complex form so uh, from Euler's Euler's formula Euler's formula you know it that e to the power what is the uh, formula of e to the power j theta right so if e is an exponential or a, a complex signal e to the power j theta how this is actually the real axis and this is actually the imaginary axis so e to the so this is actually the cos theta where this angle is a the theta and this amplitude this amount is a sine theta right sine theta we know e to the power j theta equal to cos theta plus j sine theta because this is the imaginary component right so this is the real component so the real uh, real part is actually termed by the this cos theta so here actually it's actually cos theta right so we can write it as a part of real part of, of an imaginary uh, signal right so we can write that this is actually cos theta cos theta is nothing but cos theta is nothing but the real part of the e to the power j theta right this cos theta is nothing but the real part of the j theta this is actually nothing but the real plus j imaginary right? imaginary imaginary part that actually how it uh, expressed so we can express this cos uh, term as a, a real part of a complex complex signal e to the power j 2 pi FCT complex because there is a real and image both parties there sine 2 pi FMT so we can write or rewrite it as FC to the power J beta sine twice pi f m t and for exponential eh? exponential multiplication is actually plus right we know it like e to the power uh, for example e to the power x plus y is nothing but e to the power x into e to the power y okay so we can write it as e to the power so this term we already write so we can uh, put it uh, and put it in a multiplication form so e to the power j twice by fct 
which is actually the same thing, right? This is actually the same. We can rewrite it as this form. Now, uh, we can see that uh, here, the real part, the real part of some signal, which is actually this one, is actually uh, times of e to the power j to pi fc. So this becomes the complex baseband equivalent signal. So this makes a this makes a signal as a baseband signal, and this is, uh, this um, this signal is in the complex form. So it's a, it's actually a complex baseband equivalent signal. So so what we can we can say we can say that a a real part of some some signal or in a signal times or multiplied with e to the power j to pi f c t it it actually make the signal or it becomes uh, it becomes becomes complex actually it uh, make the signal as a baseband equivalent signal but because it's is actually this signal is in the form of a uh, complex so it's actually complex baseband equivalent signal so complex baseband equivalent signal complex baseband equivalent signal okay so <clears throat> so this part actually this part is the this is the complex equivalent baseband signal, right? So this term is actually, this is actually a complex equivalent baseband. Eh? So you can say that this is a, this is actually complex, complex equivalent baseband signal or equivalent complex baseband signal, whatever. Equivalent baseband signal. Signal of FM signal, eh? of FM frequency modulator signal. So, uh, so this is the uh, complex equivalent baseband, so which is actually this part, eh? AC e to the power j b sine twice by f m t. Why we are uh, calling it a baseband? Because of this one. You see, m is actually a, a modulating signal. That's why. Now, let us give it at a name, as b baseband. Let us give this term as a baseband. So, let us find the spectrum of this complex equivalent basement signal, okay? Let us find the spectrum of this baseband equivalent signal. Now, we, we, we actually, the reason, uh, we, we also know that, actually, we know that, what do we know? We know that the, 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 say, for example, we can write XP, okay? So we can write the passband signal. We can express it by x b t e to the power j to pi f c t. That's actually we are actually uh, whatever we mentioned there the real part of the sum signal times real part of some signal times the uh, to the power uh, two pi f c t make it uh, becomes a complex baseband signal. That's actually this is the equivalent. This is the equivalent equation for this statement actually. Okay, so this is actually our uh, passband signal, passband, passband, and this is actually the baseband, baseband. Okay, okay. Now uh, let us find this spectrum of this complex equivalent baseband signal S B. Okay, so we say let us. Let us find the spectrum, spectrum of this 
complex equivalent baseband signal. Okay, let us find it. For that, for that, uh, for that, we we now this is actually our uh, complex baseband equivalent signal. So we want to find its uh, spectrum. So so we realize that we realize that. We need some assumption eh? that this amount is C is the J beta sine twice pi F M T is a periodic signal. Is a periodic signal. Right? So if this is a periodic, then the spectrum that we are looking for will be given in a discrete Fourier series uh, 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 form, right? So hence, hence, its, it's spectrum, its spectrum, spectrum is given, is given by uh, DFS, discrete, or yeah see this discrete Fourier series regarding the discrete Fourier transform and discrete Fourier series we have discussed in uh, earlier lectures okay so here we said this is a periodic signal of or so if this is a periodic signal then the period T is nothing but 1 by fm. Okay, so the discrete Fourier of this periodic signal is B will be given by, so the discrete Fourier series of the periodic signal of the periodic signal what is who is our periodic signal s s b right s b or oh, this is signal it can be expressed as n equal to minus infinity to infinity c of n e to the power j to pi n f m here, this m is nothing but the fundamental frequency, right? Fundamental frequency. So we we express the discrete Fourier series for a baseband signal. So how to express a disc, uh, Fourier or uh, discrete Fourier series? We actually explain detail in one of our previous uh, lecture here where we actually discuss about the periodic signal and how to how to actually uh, discuss about detail about the nature of the periodic signal and how or what it uh, the spectrum of this um, spectrum of this typical periodic signal district Fourier and uh, Fourier transform and other stuff so um, when actually we actually it uh, we discussed it in detail where the district Fourier series in a that we any spectrum of any signal can be expressed by two forms. One is the Fourier series, and another is a Fourier transform. So actually, we discuss both of them in a um, previous example where uh, this case Fourier series, this case Fourier series is actually applicable for a periodic signal. The detail of this uh, in this uh, in the previous uh, lecture, detail of the nature of this uh, of this. Uh, this is for your series. Okay. So here, and Cn is the um, coefficient. So here, this is a uh, 
uh, cn is the this term is the coefficient and the sb is the linear so this example what is actually says that n value is minus in infinity to uh, plus infinity here this is a coefficient for every value of n and uh, this n varies from minus infinity to plus infinity okay so n f so it's actually nothing but the summation huh? it's actually uh, nothing but the this is nothing but the linear combination or summation of all the fundamental and its multiple. Okay, that we we actually express by this equation that is B. So what we can write actually, we can write that this baseband signal is B is the linear linear combination. Or summation, eh? Because it's minus infinity to plus infinity. Summation. Linear summation of FM. FM, if uh, n equal to um, 1, then it's uh, uh, only uh, more like 1 FM and it's multiple. If number of value n changes, so FM becomes a multiple of FM. And multiple. Multi of fm so this actually not means this actually nothing but the summation of all the harmonics so for example fundamental frequency and its multiple frequency is nothing but the uh, harmonics they are the when you say multiple of fm it means actually the harmonic so it's actually nothing but the summation of so nothing but the summation of harmonics fundamentals and its components that's actually termed as a harmonics okay now let us find the coefficient cn so let us find this value cn so let us find coefficient Coefficient cn. So what is the value of cn? So same as uh, before, uh, we actually find these formulas from our previous uh, previous lecture. So coefficient cn is nothing but one by t zero to t is b t it the minus j two pi n F M T. So we uh, we put back the S B value of S B. What is S B? S B is this one. Eh? This equation. So uh, put it back. Or replacing our L one by T. 0 by t, sb is nothing but sc to the power j beta sine twice by t, sb and this one e to the power minus j twice by n f m t dt. Oh dt is missing here dt so uh, using the 0 to t c to the power j common beta sine twice by fm t minus Twice by n fmt. Dt. Okay, here let us assume that. So let us assume that. Let two pi fmt equal to x. 
if this is the case, then dt will be dx by twice by fm, right? So we're rewriting the cn. So cn would be what? One by t. Now here zero to what? Zero to uh, you see here instead of t, what we can write? We can write actually. We can write twice pi f m t because t will be replaced by capital T. So here you see fm, fm is nothing but 1 by t, right? fm is nothing but 1 by t. So t and fm that can be crossed. Okay, so 2 pi remains, so twice pi. Okay, 0 to twice pi, a c, e to the power, j, beta in x minus n x because 2 pi f m t 2 pi f m t so n remains here n remains here n remains here so dt is dx by 2 pi f m okay so uh, t and f m you see here this uh, t and fm they're cross so because t and fm fm multiplied by t equal to one actually right because fm equal to one by t that's why okay so we can and and we can write we can write that Oh, AC, AC, one by twice pi, zero to two pi, p to the power j beta sin x minus n x dx. Oh, we can dx cn so this term this term is actually this is actually termed as j of n function of beta this is actually j of n eh? so what is this this is actually nothing but the bezel function of first kind so this is actually nothing but the bezel function bezel function bezel function of first first kind and order in order in Okay, so Cn can be and as Cfn can be okay. So this term, eh? this only this term is that S is not included here. So this term, the whole terminology is the is the Bezier function. So we can write nothing but the Cn J N function of beta. So here, uh, this n, n, this n is nothing but the nth coefficient, eh? nth coefficient, nth coefficient. So if this is the case, then the this is Fourier series. So the 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 discrete Fourier series of 
is b is nothing but is b is nothing but c is no? b is nothing but c by 2 j c b uh, this equation eh? this equation so here so this is the nth coefficient eh? so this s b is the nth coefficient of this uh, th this discrete fourier series so nth coefficient so nth coefficient of the discrete transform of the s b yeah we can write it that this is the nth coefficient of the discrete fourier series of this uh, this discrete fourier series of the baseband signal s b okay so what we can write now we can actually uh, rewrite the whole stuff right we can rewrite the whole stuff as we can rewrite the whole stuff as a c e to the power j beta sine twice pi f m t which is actually nothing but the n of minus infinity to uh, infinity c n we we just find its value e to the power j twice pi n f m t which is nothing but we put it value right so we put it back is uh, the value of c n so n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity c n is nothing but a c as a function of first kind with order n e to the power j 2 pi n 2 pi n f m t okay so this is actually the expression of the dc for a series of the complex base band equivalent of the pass band so this is what is actually the this is actually so you can write So this is the expression of discrete Fourier series of the complex baseband equivalent. Of the passband signal. Okay, so who was the uh, our passband signal? Actually, our passband signal was so our passband signal was passband signal is S passband. For our case, our passband signal is ST. Eh? ST we write it as a real term of of baseband signal right is b t e to the power j 2 pi f c t remember we actually give this formula at the beginning that any that anything can be right as this way any passband signal can be right from its baseband real part of baseband with uh e to the power j 2 pi f t that's actually the one we are uh, trying to say, try to write it here. Eh? Okay. So now we know S T equal to so S B. We already uh, know the detail of uh, this uh, S B part, right? So we can actually rewrite it. So real part of S B is nothing but S B is nothing but this one. Eh? We already have our signal is B. Uh, this one, our signal is B. Is B signal. Which is actually, yeah, this is actually our is B signal. Okay, so we can write it as B. Is B. It's actually our signal. So uh, replacing it. Uh, n equal to minus infinity. I'm writing this one, eh? This one, whole signal. 
to infinity a c j of n b function of beta q to the power j twice by n f m t which is actually our this part and then rest of the part is e to the power j twice by f c t okay so what we can also what we can write real part of n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity ac jn function of beta e to the power j 2 pi that can be common eh? so here is a fc plus n fm t okay real part of this which is actually nothing but the if this is the real part of what is the real part of this here okay this part is actually the common uh, uh, the constant part you can take it out n equal to minus infinity to infinity a c j n function of beta what is the real part of e to the power j? Nothing but the cos term. So cos twice pi f c plus n f m t. That is actually our uh, real part. Okay. Okay. So, uh, we we actually uh, we also know how to uh, express the cos term. For example, cos two pi f c t. If you do the Fourier transform of this one, the Fourier transform. So. The Fourier transform of this, if you do the Fourier transform eh, by using the delta function, what is the uh, Fourier transform of this is nothing but the half of del f minus f zero or f naught plus half of del f plus f zero, right? This is actually we discussed it earlier, much much earlier in previous uh, previous lecture. We know it how to uh, express sine and cos term in terms of its uh, delta function. Okay. Similarly, this part this part can also be expressed in sine and uh, cos term. Okay. Okay. So, what is the equivalent of this one? If this term, if I do the same formula, so this will be equivalent to half of del f minus f c minus n f m plus half of del f plus f c plus n f m okay so we put it back so if we do the fourier transform of this signal uh, s this is actually our passband signal eh? sp that is given from the value sp passband signal spt okay so passband signal spf what will be the so if we do s S T the Fourier transform it will be S P of F, which is what will be the signal? It is nothing but the actually nothing but this N minus infinity plus infinity. This whole uh, 
half terminology uh, put it in the front so half a c half of a c j n function of beta then this term eh? del f minus f c minus n f m plus del of f plus f c plus n f m okay so this one uh, this term is the bezel function eh? so we find the fourier transform of passband signal so this is actually the fourier transform of the passband signal so this is actually the fourier transform of passband passband of this fm signal our fm passband of frequency moderated signal of frequency moderated signal so what we see the what is the uh, baseband signal uh, passband signal passband signal okay so we say so this is actually the fourier transform fourier transform is nothing but the spectrum fourier transform gives actually or fourier series actually this is not the fourier uh, uh fourier series actually gives us uh, the 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 spectrum of this uh, pass, uh passband signal so we can say that although Although n is n, n belongs to minus infinity to plus infinity, a realistic value of the bandwidth of FM signal. is those of those fc plus n fm for which the the vessel function jn function of the beta is significant Here, in the Fourier uh, or spectrum of this passband, actually shows us that the spectrum will we will find all the values for minus infinity n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity. Means the the the, the spectrum will be ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity. But that's that is not a realistic value, right? As a theoretical value. So what we are saying that although n belongs to minus infinity to plus infinity a realistic value of bandwidth so if 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 n value goes from minus infinity to, to plus infinity we actually uh, though we can see the uh, or we can we can um, we can um, pro we can actually um, picture a, a spectrum of this uh, signal but the bandwidth of this frequency modulated signal are those who are actually fc plus fn this value fc plus uh, nfm even where n is a uh, like a significant value based on the significant value of the uh, of the bezel function okay so the spectrum of the fourier modulated signal contains a carrier component and an infinite set of side frequencies located symmetrically on either side of the carrier at a frequency separation of FM, twice FM, three FM, all these uh, harmonics. That's actually, that's actually a uh, summary of this statement. So we say that the spectrum of this uh, frequency modulated signal contains lots of carrier components from my, minus infinity to a, a positive or negative infinity symmetrically, or we can say they are uh, 
distributed symmetrically to up to infinity on either side of the carrier frequency, which is are separated by FM or, or its multiple harmonics. Okay. Okay. Thank you.